Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball here today with another Pokemon TCG online video and today I have a really good deck for you guys to take a look at. This is the winning deck, uh, the champion deck from the uh, US regionals uh, in the, uh, you could say like the Midwest area. It was hosted in Fort Wayne, Indiana and uh, the winner was uh, by the name Frank Diaz. He had the uh, this dark, dark uh, deck. I, I really wanted to showcase this for one. I love dark deck, uh, dark Pokemon. But uh, Frank Diaz is a very long time veteran uh, Pokemon player. Played since, I don't know, 2002 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, he. Uh, I got to witness uh, a wonderful, uh, amazing finals match uh, between him and uh, Matt Price, who was playing a Seismitoad deck. But. I uh, really wanted to showcase this deck. This is a an Evil Tall or Evetal, however, however you want to pronounce it, uh, with a Darkrai, you know, a Hoopa, Caldeo, a Toad, and you know, yeah. So really fun deck to play. Very powerful deck. The deck list is available to you if you want to check it out. It's public domain on Pokemon.com. The link is in the description below. Feel free to take a look at it. And he played this deck in the Lancaster Regional Tournament. Um, you know, the previous week uh, before he won the Indi in, in Indiana, uh, this is the exact same list. So he, you know, if it's not broken, uh, don't you know, don't change, right? So uh, let's just get right to it. Of course, this deck is built around Evil Tall or Evel, 170 HP, Dark Pokemon hits for Evil Ball. It does 20 damage, 20 more damage, on uh, for more for, from both energies on both Pokemon. So 20 base, you know. Uh, if you have two darkest, dark, darkness energies, you're guaranteed to hit at least for 60. And then, of course, your opponent, if they have any more energies, you're hitting for more. And you can add muscle band, things like that. Y Cyclone is really good. You can preserve some energy that way, too. Maybe even move a DCE. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but again, oh, man, I love Darkrai EX. I'm so glad to see Darkrai still in competitive tournaments, in competitive play. In 2015, late 2015, Darkrai is still... The bomb diggity, and uh, man, this card came out in 2012. That's it's been around for like yeah three years now, four years really. You know, 2012, 13, 14, and 15. So um, man, it's been around for quite a long time, and still it's always been a good card. Uh, we do have the uh, the non EX Evil Tall here, 130 HP is really good. Beefy Pokemon hits for Oblivion Wing, really good to start off with, and uh, can be able to be. Do some energy accelerating. So he he runs two of these. Does run two Shaman EXs with the setup ability and potentially can hit for Sky Return. We do have Hoopa EX, which is, is really powerful, being able to set up your bench really quickly, bring out all the EXs you need. Uh, Keldeo to rush in and retreat, and then uh, one Seismitoad here perhaps can can stall turn and things like that. So uh, this deck is uh, really really fun to play and also very exciting to watch. Uh, Frank Diaz, um, you know pilot the deck and watch it succeed um i would have to say like yeah definitely the finals match was really exciting really unorthodox i think we saw him, him use shaman ex with sky return uh because he was under item lock from size of toad he did shaman ex si uh, sky return like i don't know six times or in or five times and then poison damage to knock out the uh, the toad uh, which was 180 HP. He also ended up using, uh, with a Darkness Energy and a DC on Keldeo, attacking for 50 a couple of times too. Very unorthodox, doing whatever he could to win the game, and he was able to pull it off. Now, I would have to say, his the winning attack was through Darkrai EX, hitting a Night Spear on a um, on Matt Price's uh, Shaman EX that had 30 HP on it. There was a... He, a few turns before the final act, before the final turn where Darkrai won with the Night Spear, um, he, uh, Matt Price had a, a 30 HP, uh, um, a Shaman EX on his bench with 30 damage on it, and uh, he ended up um, playing Juniper and discarding his Super Scoop up, which could have potentially, if he flipped heads, would have been able to um, Sky Return the, or not Sky Return, uh, Scoop up the Shaman EX. Uh, and also, uh, he had a DCE, which he could have played on the Shaman X with 30 HP, uh, 30 damage on it, and, uh, do a Sky Return, instead of having, uh, what was it, the, um, he had a, not High Dragon, but, uh, the, uh, Giratina EX hit for a Chaos Wheel. The Chaos Wheel did lock, um, Frank Diaz from, uh, playing that DCE he had in his hand, uh, but that's inconsequential because, you know, Frank Diaz was able to get an energy anyways. Uh, well, he did have computer search, but um, the thing is, if he was able to get that, that one Shaman EX that had 30 damage uh, off the board, I believe um, I believe the Giratina EX only had 50 damage on it, 
And then everything else, the Caldeo, and he had a Toad on his bench. I'm not sure if it was a Toad. But basically, everything else was not knockoutable from Dark Darkrai's Night Spear. His Darkrai, Frank Diaz's Darkrai, had a Headringer on it. So it wouldn't have been able to have a Muscle Band, of course. And, um, yeah, it would not have been able to knock out anything if... Um, I believe I believe that was the scenario. And, of course, that didn't happen, right? He didn't play a Super Scoop up, nor did he play Sky Return, right? He played the DC on the other Shaman that didn't have 30 damage on it. So I think in hindsight, um, he probably should have played, you know, for the Sky Return and just move something else into the active spot. Maybe his Hoopa EX. Um, maybe not the Hoopa EX. Well, I think the Hoopa EX is, yeah, it's weak to the Psychic. Okay, could have pushed the Hoopa EX out there. And uh, even if Frank was able to get a Lysander, he would have Lysandered out a Shaman um, that, uh, you know, would have survived the 90 damage. And then, you know, Matt Price would have been able to finish off the Dark Ride because the Dark Ride had 100 damage on it. Uh, could have finished with a Chaos Wheel. So that's just my uh, end game analysis. But regardless, even if Frank Diaz lost, uh, I would definitely would have still wanted to showcase this Dark deck because I love Dark Pokemon. And uh, uh, I'm glad he won because, again, I would love I love seeing Darkrai in a champion deck. Uh, and it is the champion of the uh, Indiana Regionals tournament. So uh, that's it for the Pokemon. I think I talked about it. Uh, you know, Hoopa EX, Scoundrel Ring, being able to grab everything. Keldeo, really good for Russian and Retreat. So uh, let's take a look at the other things here. We have Battle Compressor, two of these. We also have uh, Computer Search as well as four Dark Patches. There was one turn where Frank Diaz actually played three Dark Patches. Um, to power up a Dark Art EX on this bench. Uh, escape Rope, very useful here. Hypnotoxic Laser, four of these. It's so annoying. And uh, there was a, a, a sequence of events in Game 2 where Matt Price flipped Tails three times in a row and his Keldeo EX passed out in the active spot from poison damage with Verbing City Gym. Uh, we have... Uh, well, of course, that Keldeo had damage on it before, and then, you know, poison damage accumulated. Uh, Ultra Ball here, we got the VS Seeker as well, and then AZ. Uh, we do have one Colorus, two Lysanders, three N's, and four Junipers. That's it for the support line. The two Verbank City Gyms, as well as Muscle Band. We have four DCEs, and the rest, eight uh, Darkness Energies. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and see this deck in action on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, and we're going to be playing against Vintage something. Uh, it's a Dragon, Darkness, and Water deck. Uh, I cannot pronounce his name. I totally apologize. But it looks like my opponent uh, is playing a Water deck for sure. We see the Water Coin there. My opponent must have won the Coin Toss. We will start off with the Seismitoad. Lucky for us, we'll be going second. That way we can attack right away. We didn't have a double uh, colorless energy right there. Again, with the expanded format, we could always get hit by an N right away. We see the Evil Tall there. We also see a Suicune that we got to deal with. Oh, man. Um... Well, uh, with the Suicune there, uh, we could still use uh, our... Ah, oh, man, we do get hit with an N, and uh, we start off with nothing good. Oh, we do get Dark Patches. We got an Evil Tall there as well, but otherwise we don't really have much else going for us. We have an Ultra Ball right there. That is great. Oh, that is great. Uh, we have a Muscle Band. I'm going to probably discard uh, the Dark Patch and the Energy here. We can at least use one Dark Patch. Um, <clears throat> maybe not. I might have to discard the Muscle Band, I think. Uh, I think we're going to go with the Dark Patch. Um, and, of course, get rid of this. Let's go ahead and... Um, you know, we could go ahead and grab the Hoopa EX. Uh, that way we can play Hoopa and then play for Shaman. Uh, but that's kind of nonsense. We don't really need the Hoopa in this case. We just need the Shaman. No more, more need for the Hoopa since we have the Evil Tall here as well as the Dark Ride. Let's play these right there. Muscle Band, Dark Patch, and just go for the Shaman. There we go. We have a DCE. Oh, man. Um, uh, let's see. Well, uh, yeah, we can play right here, I guess. That was kind of a hard decision. I didn't know if I wanted to play the DCE on the Toad or the Evil Tall. Uh, could have played. I don't know. But, okay, so here we go. Um, could play the Shaman again. I'm very tempted to play the Shaman, but I want to keep one spot open to deal with the Suicune over here. Uh, that way we can have the Evil Tall. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Juniper. And uh, we have a Battle Compressor right here. Uh, we do have a Love Ultra Ball as well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these. Again, we have the Via Seeker. Uh, so I want a spot. I want to guarantee a spot for... Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Both our, our non-EX Evil Talls are prized. Are you kidding me? They're both prized. 
All right, that's okay. Uh, let's just go ahead. We will grab. Uh, what should we get? <clears throat> I don't know. Probably nothing. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll just go for nothing. Uh, I will probably just attack with the Quaking Punch. Um, see, I'm going to Battle Compressor. Let's just get rid of some more energies and maybe use Dark Patches. I'm going to get rid of the uh, Hoopa EX. No need to see Hoopa anymore. And uh, it's, I'm also going to get rid of a Lysander. That way we can always VS Seeker for the Lysander. No, we already got one Lysander in the discard pile. I'll just go for the energies. Uh, we should still have one energy, a couple energies, and Dark Patches available to us. Again, we do have VS Seeker for the next turn. Let's go ahead and just go for the Quaking Punch. Hit for only 10. Lock my opponent from item cards. We did not get... Any lasers, though, that's a little bit disappointing. We do have the Colors and the Juniper in there for help to, to help us draw some more cards. We will get hit with, uh, what is that, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 100 damage on the Seismic Toad. Uh, we need to start <clears throat> probably playing. I'm going to play this on the Keldeo. I'm going to hope that we can get, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna preserve. I actually want to preserve one uh, more VS Seeker, so we're gonna go for the Culverse instead. That way we can just play for six. It looks like the game froze for a little bit there. Let's preserve that VS Seeker. We do get the Dark Patch right here, so we can go ahead and Evil Ball, uh, rush in, retreat right here. Let's rush in and retreat. Hit for the Evil Ball onto the Evil Tall here. And we should be able to knock out the evil, uh, the evil Tall in the next turn. Now, again, we should be able to knock out this uh, Evil Tall in the next turn um, with the Toad as well. All right, if we can get a Muscle Ban on here, we can be able to hit. Never mind, my opponent has the Hard Charm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we see a dark right hit the bench over there as well. Uh, again, we have uh, Lysander here to uh, manipulate the board a little bit, bring out the civil tall, and knock it out. We see a rock guard over here. That's funny. Oh no, that's not good. That means we definitely need to knock out the civil tall and hope we can get a non EX civil tall off the prizes to deal with this Suicune. Now we don't play tool scrapper or anything like that. We don't have any ways to get rid of the rock guard. So that rock guard definitely is a very interesting uh, piece to the puzzle here. And uh, again, so we gotta, we do have Hypnotoxic Laser, but I'm gonna um, preserve that. Let's just go for the Lysander, and I really need to get that. Uh, uh, man, I should have never been this, this EX Evil Tall here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just play the energy on our Evil Tall right here, and uh, Hypnotoxic Laser again. We have that available to us. Let's just go for the Evil Ball. Uh, my opponent can actually start knocking. Uh, oh, there it is. We got the evil tall, non-EX evil tall here. Can you believe that this guy is almost 20 feet tall? That is huge. That means, like, I'm only, like, the size of his foot or something. Oh, my gosh. Um, so if my opponent gets a DC, he can start hitting us with a sweet, uh, hitting a Suicune, but... Oh, no, not another Suicune. Oh, are you kidding me? And we only have one evil tall to deal with it. We couldn't one-shot... We could definitely one-shot the uh, Suicune with our Evil Tall, uh, but that's it. My opponent plays an energy right here, and uh, looks like that's going to be it. Okay, so <laughs> we got the Verbank Citizen, we got the Hypnotoxic Laser. Could not put him to sleep, though. Uh, we can play the DC on the Evil Tall right here. I'm going to go ahead and I uh, could play Battle Compressor. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to get rid of some things I don't want to see anymore. I don't need to see any more Evil Talls. Uh, don't need to see... I could... Oh, an AZ would be really nice. If we can get an AZ, that would be spectacular. We have a Scape Rope. Definitely want to hang out of that. And uh, Otherwise, I don't really want to discard much of anything else. Um, this is looking pretty good. It's just discard the Evil Tall. And we'll play an N. We've got a Hypno another Hypnotoxic Laser. Hang on to these uh, Muscle Bands, I think. You never know if your opponent plays... Um, you know... What do you call it? Uh... uh uh, what is it? Uh, sorry, the megaphone. Oh my goodness, losing my mind here. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna rush in, and uh, I'm actually gonna retreat into um, probably the dark eye to take a hit for us. I'll let the dark the dark eye take a hit. Uh, that sounds pretty good. We can always AZ the dark eye back. I'll let the dark eye take two hits for us. Maybe buy us some turns. That's if my opponent wants to attack. Um, again, my opponent can't play muscle band since the, the oh no oh my goodness. The, at least the Seismitoad won't go down, so that's kind of nice. Uh, my opponent just burned. Okay, so let's rush in, and uh, I'm gonna have to. T I'm gonna bring up the Seismitoad. It's it's sad but true. Uh, we're gonna have to bring up the Seismitoad. I don't want I don't want this to be a target anymore. Um, or I could just let the Seismitoad sit around. Um, definitely. Let's see. Hang on here. My opponent's played one Lysander right there and no Via Seekers. So yeah, that's the case. I'm just gonna bring him up and uh, let's go with this right here. And then we shall retreat into the Darkrai and let the Darkrai take a hit for us. 
Uh, probably didn't need to play the Evil Tall. My opponent could definitely insert Lysander out to the Evil Tall. Uh, that would be really the non-EX Evil Tall. Probably could have just held on to that. We see a Pokemon Center Lady. Oh, man. Good thing we have another Hypno Toxic Laser here. My opponent's going to take two cracks at the Evil Tall, or at the Dark Ride. We see an Evil Soda that's going to be able to get played onto the Zuelus here. And uh, the Zuelus will be able to um, probably have the High Dragon, the move energies around. That's my assumption. So we get hit for 70, uh, should be able to handle two more turns. Got more Hypnotoxic Lasers, put him to sleep, thank goodness. And we will end the turn. Dark Rye, oh my goodness, the, the Suicune does wake off, uh, wake up after the coin flip right there. And Suicune, again, will need to take uh, three hits to knock out the Dark Rye. We'll let the Dark Rye absorb another hit, and maybe even promote the Shaman, I guess? I don't know. I don't want to play Keldeo, you never know. This is the expanded format, my opponent. Oh, wait, never mind, my opponent brings out the Dark Rye. And uh, that's the most peculiar. We see a Steven right here. Um, so that means I could probably bring out my Evil Tall. Hit for a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we have a Hypnotoxic Laser. It's going to be one short. I want to keep this laser for the Suicune, though. Um, that's a little bit disappointing. We'll be a little bit short on the Dark Ride. But that could leave. That could soften up the Dark Ride um, for a knockout. Uh, so right here, again, the Dark Rai, uh, my opponent is going to put our Dark Rai in a big dilemma here. If we lose out of the Dark Rai, uh, our Dark Rai gives us that free retreat. We do have one more Dark Rai in our deck. We get it for 90. We will survive the turn. My opponent definitely probably start probably picking up uh, the... Oh, never mind. Goes for the Evil Tall instead. Um, that's quite interesting. Uh, again, my opponent had to play uh, quite a bit to pull that off. Um... This Suicune does not have any darkness energies, but again, this this High Dragon here can move energies around at will. Um, so we gotta watch out for that. Uh, definitely could put this Dark Ride to the sleep, maybe. Um, oh man, uh, we could try to put this to sleep. I think I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, we can certainly just rush in and retreat. This is Russian for now. Uh, let's see what we can do. I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the Evil Tall. I'm going to let the Evil Tall attack. My opponent definitely can knock out the Dark Ride. But uh, we'll have the Lysander again available to us. Should be able to knock out. Oh, we get him to go to sleep. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's go for the... And right here, this should knock him out. Uh, there it is. It didn't really matter with the sleep then. I was so excited for the sleep for some reason. Uh, here comes the Suicune. Again, that can uh, start chipping away. We could see a Lysander knock out the Dark Ride. We'll lose on our Russian and retreat here. Um... So, uh, I guess my opponent did not take into account that we may have a muscle ban, and we did. So, we were able to hit for uh, 160 there, plus the poison damage. Um, and that, that made the world of difference. Now, we're down to two prizes left. My opponent has yet to take any prizes. Still a very interesting game. Very intriguing. Here's another Dark Rai over there. Uh, we see a muscle ban on the Dark Rai as well. My opponent plays a DCE. We're going to get hit for 70 on our Evil Tall EX here. Uh, again, we need to power up our Evil Tall here. We do have the Hypnotoxic Laser. Um, could could leave the, the Shaman EX as a, you know, a bait, per se. Uh, Shaman EX is actually a pretty nice number at 110, meaning the Dark Rite won't be able to snipe it off right away. Oh, perfect. We even have an Escape Rope. I'm going to go ahead and play the Escape Rope. Uh, see what else my opponent brings up. If it brings up the Dark Rite, we'll just go ahead and bring up our Evil Tall. And just start chipping away that way. So here it comes. Uh, the Dark Rai will bring out our Evil Tall, as I already mentioned. And uh, all right. We'll just uh, chip away. Let's go for the Evil Ball. We'll hit for 80. Now, again, this will be a knockout. We have an Evil Tall ready to go. We have a Lystander in hand. We should be able to bring out the Dark Rai and knock it out. We see an N. Uh, we do have an, uh, an Evil uh, Lystander in our hand, plus a Hidden Toxic Laser. This Dark Rai will go down. Doesn't matter what my opponent does. He's going to need a uh, Darkness Energy. We got end into the perfect hand. VS Seeker gives us a world of opportunities right here. And here is a DCE. We're going to see the Darker Eye retreat. We're going to get hit for 70. Or, um, yeah, 70. And we're just going to go ahead. We're going to retreat into the Evil Tall. This is uh, kind of a brutal win, but we're able to pull it off. And, again, the very... Look at that. We're able to take on... Um, uh, two Suicunes, well, one Suicune. I don't know. I, th I don't know how, how many uh, Suicunes my opponent plays. But here it is. We get hit for 70. And uh, let's just go ahead. Woo, we even get another energy right here. Uh, this is GG's. Bring out the Lysander. Lysander out this guy. We will retreat right here. Even go for hitting the Toxic Glazer. Put him to sleep. Why not? Evil Ball hit for 120. And that's it. That guarantees the win right there. We're taking the victory. Got the last Evil Tall from the prizes of the non EXP Evil Tall. 
And uh, so I just want to show a really quick demo. Uh, this this video just came out of the fly. This video is fresh off from uh, watching the uh, regionals tournament. And again, um, probably didn't play this. Uh, pr probably didn't play it to perfection. But again, we got to see the dominance here. Uh, it was, of course, uh, dealing with Suicune was pretty tricky, but yet we were able to pull it off. Uh, again, I probably didn't play it to perfection, but we denied my opponent from any prizes. We had a lot of Pokemon that are super damaged, super beat up. Uh, our Darkrai was down to 20 HP. We had a, a Seismitoad that was already almost knocked out. I think it only had 10 or 20 HP. AZ, that Seismitoad, allowed the Darkrai to absorb some hits for us. Um, yeah, able to pull off a pretty convincing win. Uh, we had we basically I, I felt like we had control most of the game and uh, yeah, it was really enjoyable to play definitely a fun match a fun deck to play fun deck to pilot uh, Again, you got to be I mean Frank Diaz certainly a master certainly uh, Really making his case for being the number one ranked Pokemon player right now I believe and uh, yeah, it's a very very fun deck So if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you guys are new to the channel feel free to subscribe and if you guys are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for being a part of this channel. We get to take a look at these cool deck profiles. Once again, this is public domain. Feel free to take a look at it, and it's a lot of fun to play. If you have the cards to build it out on Pokemon TCG Online, uh, I, I'd say give it a try. So you guys take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.